Hello, welcome back to Algebra 1. Here we're going to talk about some very, very important topics that we're going to use to build uh, on everything that we talk about from here on out. And the first of these topics is called negative numbers, the concept of a negative number, which we've kind of talked about a little bit. Uh, we're also going to talk about absolute value, and along the way, we're going to talk about something very important we'll use a lot called the number line. So let's start with that, the number line. Now I know that you all have probably been exposed to what the number line is. We're going to talk about it my way here, and then we'll, we'll go from there. So we have this thing called the number line. So we'll draw an arrow pointed this way, and we'll draw a line all the way across pointed the other way. Now in the middle of this number line is familiar zero. That's the concept of zero. Now over to the right, everything over here are all of the numbers that you've been growing up dealing with, like three peanuts, two apples, five pencils, things like that. And so uh, you have the number one, the number two, the number three, the number four, the number five, and I could keep going, but basically you have uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and the arrow right here means that these numbers go on and on to infinity. Okay, So these are the positive numbers, right? And we've talked about this, you've learned about this since you were a kid, you know, you know, you know what all of this stuff basically means. Um, these are the things that you can have. If you have three jelly beans or if you have two and a half cups of water, because don't forget the numbers in between here are on the number line too, so 3.5, 4.6, things like that. These are all of the numbers that you've been dealing with so, so far in life. So let me give you a couple, couple of examples. All of these numbers here, these are things like when you have money. In other words, I may have 